Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at trapping the ball with, on the PC. Obviously the drag flicks are important, injecting is important, but trapping the ball might be one of the most important things and underestimated things there are in hockey. So today we're going to have a look at how we trap the ball. Let's go! All right, so why is it important to be able to trap the ball properly? Well, obviously, for the main reason is to make sure that the drag flicker can flick a ball that's sitting nice and dead and is not spinning or rolling. That straight away is one of the most difficult things for all trappers is because you're playing on different fields, in different weather conditions, uh, with different types of uh, sticks and balls. The hardest thing is to trap the ball and to get it to trap in the way that it doesn't roll and the drag flicker has a perfect way to pick up the ball and release towards goal. So, the big question is, what do we need to do to make sure we trap the ball properly? Well, first of all, there's your hands, and second of all, there's your footwork. So, uh, to start off with the hands, there are different ways in which you can trap the ball. And I suggest that you find a way that suits you well and that you feel, find comfortable. Um, the way I used to trap the ball, back in the day when I used to still trap balls, believe it or not, in the beginning of my career, I trapped balls a lot. Um, I had my hands like this. Why? Uh, because I liked the distribution of the hands, not too close to each other, because if I had my hands like this, it felt I was in the middle of the right part, in the middle of the left part, and it gave me the best chance to trap the ball and the ball not to go underneath, and I could respond left and right. However, a different way that you can trap is to have your hands like this. Some people even choose to have your hands like this. And there are even people who trap the ball with their left hand at the top of the D, uh, at the top of the curl to try and support when the ball comes here. So the second big challenge um, uh, when trapping the ball is the angle of the stick. Because whether you have your hands like this, whether you have them like that or like that, the most important thing is that you don't want to have your stick too far down because if it hits the side of the stick, it might jump out, or if it has a little bounce, it might jump over. The second thing is, you don't want the stick to be too far open, because then all you're doing is you're blocking the ball, and it might jump back or roll away. So what you're trying to do is you're finding exactly the right angle to try and trap the ball, and the word says it, you're trapping the ball, and you're trying to sort of squeeze the ball and push it in towards the AstroTurf. So what you're actually trying to do is you're trying to find an angle which is not exactly 45 degrees, but when the ball comes in, you want to try and push it down into the AstroTurf so that it stays like that and it's stuck. It's the fastest way to get the ball to stop spinning. So you're not too far up, you're not too far down, you're just in between, and that should give you the right angle to trap the ball. All right, so the third thing that's really important is footwork. Why? Because some players, they like to just sit down nice and low and wait for the ball to come. And if the injector can put it here in this area 10 out of 10 times, that's fine. However, if the ball comes a little bit right or a little bit left, it's harder to try and reach and try and compensate and try and get, get there and, and get your body behind the ball. So what you can also do is you can get your feet flat, open up a little bit and try and go like this, a little bit more in a squat pose. And then from here, if you need to go left or right, you can go there or you can go this way. So whatever you prefer is fine. However, you need to make sure that if the injector uh, maybe has a range of 50 centimeters left or right, you need to be able to respond. So whether you're here, you can go there, or whether you're here, you can go there. Make sure you can move with your feet in case the ball comes a little bit to the left or right. So one other thing that you really don't want when trapping the ball is that the ball goes underneath. So what you can do uh, obviously you're not allowed to have your stick inside the D before the ball is injected. However, if you're trapping the ball, try and make sure that once that the ball is injected, put your grip down onto the ground, so then you know that you have maximum depth in your stick, and you know that you're not leaving any space open for the ball to go underneath. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you push your grip onto the AstroTurf. Here now you know this is the maximum space there is for the ball to go under, and if you push your grip down a little bit, you know that the ball nine out of ten times won't go under the stick because it just simply can't. Alright, so one last little piece of advice I'd like to give is when you're trapping the ball, 
you're trying not to block the ball. So when the ball arrives, what you want to do is you want to try and make a movement where you're sort of receiving the ball and you're creating a, a situation where you're bringing your movement along with the motion of the ball. So when the ball comes in, you bring it in and then from here you try and move your stick back a bit so you're pretty much catching it. So you're receiving it and you're trying to make the landing soft for the ball instead of just sitting here and letting it block. So that's our little piece of advice. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked that video. I hope you thought it was useful. Keep practicing at home, create your own style and make sure you put in the work and then you'll get that trapping uh, going easily. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.